Hello, uh, my name is Hari Kalasani. I'm the president and CTO of Integranium. Today I'm going to show you the demo of Paperwork, our FineLight P8 BPM solution for case management. We built Paperwork using Adobe Flex, a uh, rich internet application platform. Um, so Paperwork is a web-based application. It runs in any web browser. So the way we built the Paperwork application is to support a generic case management application. Uh, meaning, you know, it can be a claims processing or a loans processing or a contracts management or a customer service request, uh, things like that. So what I'm going to show you is a generic case management application where um, <clears throat> the application, you know, lets you uh, manage cases and the data and content and the process related to the case uh, that is stored in FileNet P8. So I'm going to log in using my network ID, you know, which is my LDAP. Uh, paperwork uses uh, relies on P8 for authentication and authorization. So what you what you see here is on the top you'll see the navigation bar you know where you can navigate to different areas of the application, um, and right below that you'll see a search panel where you can see different search criteria. Uh, again, we try to come up with generic search attributes that are related to a claim. I mean case, uh, for example, the client associated to the claim case or a case number or a case type and a status or a case activity and who it is assigned to and the case date. Uh, once I search for a, for the cases, I see those cases in the search results in a grid like this and which can be sorted by any field um, <clears throat> or it can be expanded to see the full list. And every time I select a case, it opens up in a tab at the bottom. So what we did is, you know, we tried to open, uh, try to provide in you know, a multiple tabs so that users can view multiple cases at the same time. So each time I click a case, it opens up a new tab. So like, users can navigate between these, these cases without having to jump through in you know, different screens. So for each case, you know, you can see different data associated. Again, you know, all this data, all the uh, data that you see is coming from FileNet P8 Content Engine. Um, you can see the documents uh, associated to the case or you can see the notes for that case, people can collaborate, or you can see the workflow for that case. So let's go back to the details, <coughs> each tab. So the first tab being case details, where, you know, where users can uh, manage the data associated to that case. They can update these types or statuses or activity or as who it is assigned to. They can, they know they can assign to somebody else. Um, or they can go to the documents tab you know and then add a new document for that case simply select a document from their desktop and type in a document title and then select a document type and then just add it and then it gets added so you can see the document uh, or they can just simply double click the document to view it or they can check out or they can check in a checked out document so they can do the full-blown in a P8 uh, content engine uh, version document uh, document uh, version control, um, or they can collaborate on on a case. For example, you know multiple users can be working on a case. They can exchange notes. They can simply type in a note and then add. They can see uh, who added the note and when they did. Um, and finally, the workflow. So you can they can see the workflow behind the behind this case management application. Uh, they can see what step it is at. Um, they can see when it came to that step. And here are the different routes that are available. They can route it to the next step. They put a comment and then complete. Um, or they can see the workflow history of you know what happened to this case. You know who worked on it, and when they did, and what they did. So try to put different aspects of this case um, in one single. Um, Panel, you know that so that they don't have to go to different uh, parts of FileNet, you know, P8, uh, Content Engine, Process Engine, Process Analyzer, Process Administrator. So to avoid all that hassles, uh, we try to bring in all this information from different places and try to put together in this one um, uh, rich and user-friendly uh, interface. And uh, we also build a relationship between the cases and clients. Uh, for example, you know they can see. And the clients, clients, um, they can add new clients by simply clicking the plus, or um, they can come back here and then add a new case for a client. So adding a new case for a client is simple. Just uh, click on the plus symbol here, and then new case tab pops up here, and then they can select a client, client by double clicking here, 
and then bring back that client here and then select the type select the status and assign it to somebody and then just add it and then the grid gets to uh, refresh in the top and then once you add a case you can add documents for that case or you can add notes and uh, the workflow which gets launched you know which was launched as, as soon as you add a new case so anyway um, so this is the relationship between the cases and clients but if you're a supervisor and you want to see what's going on with your cases you know we have a dashboard for that you can see uh, the different reports and by activity or by who it is assigned to you can see the bottlenecks and who's working on what I mean who's working on how many and you can see um, by type or by status just to give you an idea of you know the volumes and uh, you know kind of a, um, uh, a reporting mechanism uh, for the for the supervisors and uh, they can admit uh, administer the values for example they can add new case types or new case case statuses activities and document types so every time you uh, add or ma manipulate something you know it gets dynamically updated and uh, the lists that you use in different parts of the application get uh, updated too so all these lists are coming from that so and that's for administration and then finally we have something called casebook you know which is again um, related to the collaboration we try to model this based on uh, Facebook so every time you do something here in this application an event gets posted to the wall so the wall looks like this you can see pretty much what's going on at this point in your in your system and who is working on what you can see the person you can see what they are doing um, and for example Michael Scott is viewing the document for this case uh, if you want you can add comments um, you can see you know what comments that people made um, you can click on the case and see what's happening with that specific claim specific specific case or you can click on the person to see what Pam has been doing so this kind of gives you an idea of you know uh, uh, kind of a collaborative environment where uh, people can easily see what's going on and then they can uh, work together <coughs> as a team and then finally we have these processors you know where they can administer these uh, these users you know you can use uh, different create different roles and uh, images you know things like that so that's the that's the application um, in a nutshell in a where in you can manage the data documents workflows and collaboration um, in a case management application perspective so this can be anything it can be loans processing or a contracts management um, and easily configurable um, to cater to you know different business business areas hope you enjoyed the demo and uh, if you have any questions you know please email paperwork at integranium.com or uh, you can visit www.integranium.com uh, for more details thanks very much